When artists from all over the world turned guns into artwork, something very interesting happened. In a Five on Your Side original, Art Holiday reports on a unique art exhibit that's on display in St. Louis. Art? Well, Mike, you'd be hard-pressed to find a more contentious issue in the U.S. than guns. Not surprisingly, when it comes to artists, controversy is very attractive. The goal of Imagine Peace Now is to approach the gun issue in an artistic way in hopes of having a different kind of conversation. I decided to initiate this project um, called Imagine Peace Now, which stands for the innovative merger of art and guns to inspire new expressions of peace now, um, loosely uh, based on John Lennon's idea of Imagine Peace. The exciting thing for me was to um, approach my peers, my family of artists, metalsmiths um, around the world, and I reached out to over 160 of them. So I was able to send them uh, disabled weapons from the Pittsburgh Police Department's buyback program. So I was able to send a disabled weapon to artists in six different countries and ask them to respond in any way they wanted to um, about gun violence, the issue of, of guns, gun violence, gun control. Um, and I did not uh, ask them to have any political angle. I wanted them to create their own narrative, to tell their own story, whether they're gun owners or gun haters or gun lovers, every, every opinion was welcome. The gun issues are very polarizing. As we've seen in the you know, recent election, numerous participants, art, artists in the show are gun owners, um, have grown up around guns and are hunters, um, and their works are rep represented in the show also. Um, and at the other extreme of artists that are included in the show, are artists that have never held a gun, never had a gun in their home. It is um, confrontational, um, and I think everybody will have some sort of opinion or another, and that, that's what's welcomed here. Until May 13th, you can see portions of this exhibit in two different places, the Craft Alliance Center of Art and Design in the U-City Loop and at Maryville University. Curator Boris Bally, who lives in Rhode Island, says he hopes the exhibition can create, in his words, some sort of detente where both sides can sit at the table and come up with some resolution. Well, it certainly creates conversation just looking at some of those pieces. Absolutely. And I guess we do need more conversation about guns. Well, right now the conversation is often about volume and finger pointing, and it leads to very few solutions. Yeah. Art, right, thank you.